Well, back here at home, it is one of the largest pride parades in all of the country, St. Pete Pride. Tentiba Bay was out there. We are a proud sponsor of the parade and had a float celebrating the LGBTQ plus community. Tentiba Bay Shannon Clo was there and shows us why over 300,000 people came out today. If you're not here, where are you? Nestor Montoya and his boyfriend traveled hours to watch this roll through downtown St. Pete. We came all the way from Fort Myers. We could not miss St. Pete Pride. He wasn't alone. Those organizing St. Pete Pride say over 300,000 people came to celebrate tonight. The energy, I think, is, is palpable. As the vice president of St. Pete Pride, Byron Green Kalish says this is one of the country's largest pride parades and it takes nearly an entire year to put on. This is like that moment where you like you lock arm in arm and build people up. And while today is clearly a day of celebration, some people here tell me they can't ignore recently signed laws that they say are hateful against the LGBTQ plus community. They tell me there is one involving the drag community they feel they are making strides on. Friday, a federal judge temporarily blocked a new Florida law targeting drag shows. The law signed by Governor Ron DeSantis in May stated adult live performances cannot take place in front of children. DeSantis said that included drag shows. And this is just that first sign that like, yes, the fight is worth it. For so many here, it's events like St. Pete Pride that keep them hopeful. This is all about representation. It's about being proud about who you are. Because this is a party everyone is invited to. So we're here, we're celebrating, we're happy, and we're all about the love. In St. Pete, Shannon Clo, 10 Tampa Bay. Well, if you were out there tonight, you may have caught a glimpse of our float. If not, you can go to our 10 Tampa Bay YouTube page right now and watch the parade in its entirety.